How's it going, Knights? On today's show, we visit a local Higley hotspot, test the vocal skills of a few musical knights, and check out the new Majestic Cinema in Mesa. Don't go anywhere because an all new episode of the studio begins right now. Good morning, Knights. I'm Phoebe Fletcher. And I'm Brooklyn Daly. With the cross-country season coming to a close, Spencer and Tyler spoke with a few members of the team to find out how they performed this year. 75, 76. With the end of their season approaching, Tyler and I met with the cross-country team to find out what kept them running this season. My favorite part about being on the cross-country team is definitely the team itself. I mean, we have such a great group of people that we're all really close like family, but we're also really competitive and it pushes everybody to do better while still maintaining a close relationship and being able to grow as a group and as people. My favorite part of being on cross country would probably be how much of a family we are and how close we are together, working hard day in, day out. My favorite part about coaching cross is the kids, just being around them every day. We're together as much as we are early in the morning, late into the evening, so to have such a great group of kids and to be with them at not the greatest hours of the day is always a lot of fun. Our running nights have worked hard through their meets and season. What's been great this season is just the camaraderie. We had a lot of new kids. Uh, you know, just how hard they work every day when they're together has been really good for us and good for this season. Having a goal is one way to keep running and improving. For the rest of the season, I definitely like to run my best at state, and I would definitely like to break 20 by the end of the season, so we'll see. I hope to beat Brecken Fonsbeck's PR and get fourth all time for Higley's 5K record and run a 1645. And I would hope the team feels good about how they run. Wish our Knights a strong finish to their cross country season. This is Spencer and Tyler signing off on The Studio. Club pictures were held this past Monday in the gymnasium. It was great to see everyone's smiling faces and we look forward to seeing the pictures in the yearbook later this year. Quick, what came first? Um, the chicken? <laughs> Zach and Eric asked some rapid response questions to a few nights in the kingdom. Let's find out how they answered these bizarre questions. Here at Higley, students are taught to develop their cognitive thinking skills. Eric and I put some fellow knights to the test to see how well they could answer some rapid response questions. What are birds made out of? Feathers. Clay. Carbon. Bird seed. How heavy is a duck? Two pounds. A uh, stone. It's too heavy. As heavy as a duck is. What does Hulk want for Christmas? Iron Man. Uh, a girlfriend? Uh, toothbrush. Joy. Go. <laughs> What's another word for socks? Shoes. Feet. Wrappers. Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. Undershoe? T-shirt. Foot coverings. Why are apples red? Uh, because they're not green. They're green too. Paint. <laughs> yes. What came first? The egg. My mom. Ooh, the egg. <laughs> the chicken. The chicken. The chicken. Um, chocolate. Who ate the watermelon? You. Me? Lily? <laughs> it's a mystery. Your mom. Sing the song. I'ma take my horse to the Old Town Road. Uh, baby back girl, I don't know. <laughs> I'm married a little lamb. Uh, uh, wet I don't even know, I don't even know. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> How I wonder where you are. What's the slogan? Live life. Uh, the snack that smiles back. Raise the praise, minimize the criticize. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I'm loving it. What this all means? We have no idea. This has been Zach and Eric reporting for the studio. What she said. <laughs> and go fish. Tonight and tomorrow, the Higley Music Theater program will perform their show all together now, celebrating local theater. The performances will be tonight at 7 p.m. and tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. at Williamsfield High School. General admissions will be $10 and students can buy their tickets for just $8.
Break a leg, Knights. Many movie lovers are beginning to return to the theaters. Chase and Itzray recently visited Majestic Cinema in Gilbert to find out why they say that their theater is the best in the valley. What's up, Knights? The cinema industry has been through a bumpy ride these past two years due to the pandemic. So Chase and I recently caught up with the Majestic Cinema Grill to see why their theater is the place to go to. My name is David Raymond and I'm general manager here at Majestic Gilbert. Majestic Theater is a locally owned theater. We have three here in the valley. We're a full service restaurant, movie theater. We serve anything from popcorn, pizza, hamburgers. We have all of our seats reclined. You can come in, enjoy a movie, and don't ever have to get up from your seat. Our servers come right to your table. And if you need something, they put a little order card up and we'll come take that order card and bring it to, right to your seat. The environment is awesome. We have a great team. Everyone works together and enjoys each other's company. It's really a fun environment to come to work every single day. I feel like it's just a better movie theater experience. I think this is what the, the cinema industry is like leading towards. It's going to be this type of environment. So if people could start getting used to that and understand like how this process works and even start to flesh it out a little bit more and refine it, it would definitely improve the movie going experience for everyone as a whole. Movie theaters are slowly coming back in popularity. So thankfully, Majestic has affordable options, just as long as you're looking for them. We have, of course, our website, MajesticPHX.com, which you can get the newsletter, and our newsletter gives monthly giveaways, free popcorn, free candy. Right now we have a $3 Wednesdays, so we have cheese pizza, candy, soda pop, and popcorn all for $3 each. And also, for anyone out there, we are currently hiring at all three locations, so come and join the team. It's a blast. Next time you're thinking about going to the movies, visit Majestic Theater on Power and Ray so you can get a free popcorn when you show the faculty your Higley student ID. This was Chase and Itzray reporting for The Studio. Last week, Best Buddies held their annual talent show. A variety of acts ranging from singing to magic kept the audience entertained from beginning to end. Great job to all the participants. <laughs> Unified Sports had a soccer game this past Tuesday. Be sure to congratulate them for their efforts. Way to go, Knights. Let's go, Nat. Let's go, Sabrina. Run around, play some soccer. Mrs. Vance's AP English students recently performed scenes from Hamlet. This interactive lesson with lightsabers is definitely worth the watch. There's so much better than me. She's fat. And she had a red. Drayson and Cannon Hall are legendary players in Higley football history. Donnie and Carson met up with their younger brother, Dax Hall, a sophomore on campus, to learn more about his successes on the field so far. This has been a pretty promising year for our JV football team, and the future is bright. Donnie and I caught up with Dax and Hall to talk about his football life and his future in the sport. I'm Dax and Hall. I'm a sophomore, and I've been playing football like my whole life. I got into football by my brothers and my dad, and just got good at it, kept on playing. I try to work hard because I know how good my brothers were, so I just try to work past them. It just gives me motivation to keep working hard. Daxton might only be a sophomore, but he's already looking ahead. I'm trying to go on to college, and hopefully I can go somewhere big, like USC or something like that. The impact that I might make on varsity is probably that I never give up and I keep trying even if we're losing or not. My brother's a, a big help. 
like when I'm, if I need help or anything, or I'm struggling with plays, I always ask them and they'll tell me what to do. The biggest strength that I probably have in football is probably my speed and my agility. Uh, what makes me different from everybody else is probably just my work ethic and my strive to be great. Right, my goals in life are probably just to make it to my dream colleges and just have like a good life that I can support my family with. Clearly, Daxton has a promising future in the sport of football. This has been Donnie and Carson reporting for The Studio. Nice. this is a reminder that our campus is a closed campus. Students caught leaving during lunch or other hours will receive Saturday school. Please stay on campus during school hours. Whether it be at the end of a long day of testing or after a big football win, you are sure to find some hungry Higley students at the Circle K on Power and Pecos. We wanted to know more about why this Higley hotspot has been attracting our students for more than a decade. The studio has been to all the local restaurants and shops, but now we run up Higley's favorite gas station. We caught up with a few nights to see what makes Circle K the best. My Circle K order is an extra large Polar Pop with like most diet Dr. Pepper and then like a little bit of regular. My gas station order would be a Polar Pop with Pepsi, vanilla, Pepsi. The staff treat me well here because they're really nice and sometimes when there's a lot of people, they'll just let you leave and give you a free drink. My favorite part of coming to Circle K is whenever I'm thirsty, it's just fast and easy, and I'm in and out, and I got a drink. We asked these students why this gas station is so convenient for night specifically. What makes Circle K the best Higley hotspot is it's super convenient, it's right on power, super close to the school, and it's like on the way, it's like on the way home from like most Higley students. I see Higley students here probably every time I come because it's just so close by everywhere. It's the place to be. Sometimes I'll like meet new people and I'll see people with Higley parking passes and I'll just introduce myself and make friends. I see Higley students here every time I go. There's always at least one person I see that I know. If you haven't already, make sure to check out Higley Circle K and keep your eye out for fellow nights. This is Lucy in Brooklyn reporting for The Studio. There's a movie night happening Thursday, November 18th, and guess what? It's for free. Stuka will be selling concessions, and don't forget to bring money. The movie will be Dumb and Dumber. The movie night is available to families, so bring the whole family with chairs and blankets. The movie will be playing in the amphitheater. Have you heard of the trending game on YouTube called Song Association? Contestants are given a word and must quickly come up with a song that contains the word in its lyrics. Phoebe and Cash challenged two students and two teachers to battle it out. Here's how it went. The rules are simple. You're given a word and you have 10 seconds to sing a song with that word in the lyrics. First one to grab the mic gets a point. <laughs> um, uh, it's, uh... Uh, these love Sosa, all, uh, love Sosa, Chief Keith. Nice. I got one. My love don't cost a thing. <laughs> and I don't know who sings that. <laughs> I'm... We're bad at this. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with us? <laughs> okay, I... <laughs> She's my trap queen, let her in the dance floor. Okay. She's a killer queen, gunpowder. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's queen. Uh, killer, yeah. killer, uh, queen. queen. Uh, I don't remember the rest of the song. I just remember it. Got me looking so crazy right now. You touch, got oh. me looking so crazy right now. I'm crazy that she left me, and I'm crazy something else. That's Aerosmith. <laughs> baby, 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 whoa. Baby, 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 ooh. That's Justin Bieber. I'm sorry, what? The. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, that's so. That's so bad. Yeah. Cause we're so I don't know. It's the same thing. I can't stop the feeling. Uh, yeah, so L is for the way you look at me. <laughs> this is Cash and Phoebe signing off for the studio. 
Thanks for tuning in, Knights. That's all we have for you this week. Check back next Friday for an all-new episode of The Studio. Sure, it's a common ocean, but that you are.